Okay guys, so uh, yeah, this video is kind of a long time coming, it, it took a long time for me to actually uh, decide to actually do a review of this, because well, uh, this is a very highly anticipated set, and I kind of wanted to put it off because I kind of actually wanted to enjoy it a little more before I actually did a review for you guys, so yeah, this is the highly anticipated 501st Legion Clone Troopers, it, or as commonly known by the media, uh, the 500 501st Battle Pack. Well, yeah. Now the reason I'm highly anticipated is because you're at, because you actually get the f four four clone troopers. So if you get two, you get eight clone troopers, and you can essentially build a whole army of them. Now, again, when I was actually doing a view of actually after getting them getting it from the Lego store, I actually did uh, kind of spell that I actually did get get like a box off of Bricklink, which is kind of my fault. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of my fault. No, not, nothing really against the actual seller who actually sold me the battle pack. But, uh, yeah. Now, I, I really enjoy this. Now, I'm actually holding the camera because I can't really fit like this whole scene in here without, you know, crowding the area. But, uh, yeah. I really actually like, like this because we're actually getting something that hasn't been seen, hasn't really been made by Lego in a while, it, it, which is the final first, which they haven't actually done this, I think it's early 2000s, I, I don't know, somebody's probably going to correct me in the description, and uh, that's from what I've seen. Now the final first is something, because obviously this is Anakin Skywalker's, uh, you know, clone trooper uh, legion. And uh, yeah, if you remember Order 66, uh, these guys are someone that actually stormed the Jedi Temple. So, uh, yeah, these guys are actually uh, really highly anticipated. But uh, yeah, again, I did actually get two uh, battle packs accidentally, which I will actually show a comparison with the one I kind of made my own dumb mistake over. But yeah, this is actually how you can display your own figure now you can actually have this guy actually on the bark speeder and the uh, AT, AT I think it's at at walk 880 or I think it might be ATSP or something I don't think I don't know there's so many at app at a or something yeah there's so many different variations but uh yeah a little bit of Star Wars lore uh the 501st Legion is the clone trooper branch that saw the most combat, like they're, they're kind of like the most versatile, something that, because like Anakin Skywalker goes everywhere and he brings his 501st Legion with him. Now, again, yes, I'm gonna keep saying this over and over in this video. What you're seeing here is one pack. Now, the current Lego has a restriction on, on getting three per order, per uh, store visit, or three per order. Now, yeah, it's too, because this is extremely highly anticipated, very popular, and yes, I can agree, because it took me quite a while to actually find these, and to call in, and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, now, with the battle pack, the main selling point are, is a walk, well, from people on YouTube, there are these four clone troopers, one, two, three, and uh, four, and then, well, obviously, as with all you know, Star Wars, well, as you get like certain clone packs, the, all these are, are going to give these uh, battle droids. I think it's like it's like a standard, you know, useless like Roger Roger battle battle droids, and that just knocked them over. But yeah, these are just the same as you can get in like all packs. I I do have like a chic. Walker, which I can actually, which I will actually show you, it just comes with the same one. It's not like, so pay. I guess if you get a certain, like, certain pack, it will come with like a commander battle droid. I, think, I don't think it's B, a B1 super battle droids. I go buy one with the natural, like, double cannon arms, but I don't have one now. Again, as with all Lego reviews, the kind of uh, Lego videos that I do, I will kind of reveal how old, like, my age. Because, well, when I was in elementary school, when I was like, what, I think, like, 10, around 8 or 10, uh, these battle droids, the legs can actually move, and, like, you can actually bend these legs, and you can actually, 
fold them into like deploy mode or something. I actually have them like ready to be be deployed. Like you can actually have this like so, but um, yeah, you can kind of actually fold them like fold the legs here. But you can kind of do that here. I have them like stand and then and I have the head fold up. But uh, yeah, and not really anything spectacular. Now, I do have like two more of these. Now I could probably paint some of these in like different colors. Like I do, like, if you have a sharpie or something, like you can probably like paint the like, sort of like commander battle droids or something like commander battle, and one that's command of like a like like separatist tank or something. Which is why I'm not sure what what this walker is called. But uh, yeah, again, these blasters are actually the same as the ones that troopers have. I guess I don't know if it's a DC fifteen or whatever. Yeah, so many different names, but yeah, this is the one that's actually what I got on this Spark Speeder. But yeah, obviously your arms as a Lego and you can actually like have them shoot the head off and like, eh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, whatever. It's a whole, but a whole place factory and also army building because if you get enough of these battle packs, you can actually get like enough, like an army of battle droids and all that stuff. But yeah, you, you do get two of them in this, so um. Uh, yeah, you can probably stock up, but if you do have like, like other Kashyyyk uh, sets, like other clone trooper sets, they are going to give you like battle droids. But uh, yeah, now again, I kind of want to get these out of the way and separate it. Now, again, main selling point are, are actually these troopers. Now, they're, they come to two variants, this being Jet Pack Trooper and just, you know, the regular Oh, first trooper. Now, that's actually not really the case. Like I call call the one that I currently have on the walker as a rifle, as a rifle trooper. Or, yeah, because he has he comes with kind of like a longer blaster rifle. Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure I didn't lose a gun. But I uh, yeah, this chip back trooper. It's actually a different helmet orientation. Actually, body. Well, the legs are the same. So. And well, obviously the main torso is different. Now the 501st actually does well. The original 501st clone troopers they all have blue arms. Now you do get a rare one where you do have like the shoulder thing, but yeah, the arm with some arm printing. But uh, yeah, typically all 501st will either have just a solid blue arm, but then I guess it they got the same on some printing. But uh, yeah, jetpack well. Custom, but you can kind of paint this white like certain areas, and then now the actual thruster parts should be blue. Now, wet missile or something, yeah, you can do whatever. But obviously, helmet is different. You can see you have like the breathing tubes port, and well, I would say jetpack tube, he actually has like a red, red line. I hope my camera can focus Not on the actual. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just focus on the screen. Obviously, they're all closed, so they do actually have the exact same face. And actually, phone has got, yeah, similar heads. But, uh, yeah. Now, I'm not entirely, I'm, I'm not too worried about, uh, the helmets actually sticking on to the actual, you know, Lego heads as some, you know, some Marvel figures they have. Because if you look underneath, it's not actually, like, attached, like, actually on the actual head, Lego head itself. It's just like kind of off a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. If you see my uh, review of Iron Man, you kind of actually know because certain Marvel one kind of want to keep like the helmet closer to the actual head. Now, I, well, this there's no like second face like where the action faces. It's just a normal you know action pose. So you can't actually have with helmets off. But uh, yeah. Well, zoom back here. Uh, well, now what did I should do next? Well, going on with the actual bark speeder. Uh, again, it's kind of another kind of minor selling point. Now, I chose to have, well, oh, this guy's a little off. Now, I chose to have, like, actually, you know, studs for the stud shooter. And actually, it's sitting on the back. 
of it, just for, you know, storage purpose, and this guy's actually not sitting properly. Hmm. Why is he not sitting properly? I don't know, I guess I didn't, like, stun him in properly, and... I don't know, but yeah, on the actual package, it does actually say that you can actually play this guy in the in the new upcoming Lego Star Wars game, I think the Skywalker Saga game. But uh yeah. Now obviously uh the build for this is actually quite easy. I mean they actually separate into sections. Well section one being the Bark Street and section two being the walker, well or, or one other. They separate the section of the instruction booklet to to each, you know, big major build, like actual vehicles. But uh, yeah, obviously comparing, well, taking this guy out, if I can actually get him out with that, you know. Now, comparing the uh, Bark Speeder with the one I actually got from uh, online at Bricklink, which I do not actually recommend, you yeah, should be careful, because they're going to upcharge you like 40 something US dollars for it. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually going to try to find a picture of. Of what a what the park speed looks like because for this they actually had to put like a actual actual one of these uh plasters for the like the side pieces i mean you have like some skis but you know little black you know flare piece i don't know because apparently it looks like it's a stab somebody on like the artwork the 3d artwork or whatever the rendering for the actual movie and the show but yeah i'll again i'll, I'll find a i'll find a picture but, uh, yeah, nothing really different except for, well, I think I may have actually... Hmm. Oh, what do you know? I think I actually built this. I think I actually built this. Huh. Yeah, well, for this one, I actually forgot to put this on that, like this single double dot on this piece. I mean, I know I'm not gonna be displaying this guy, so uh, yeah, I saw the piece, but but uh, yeah, now it's nothing really too spectacular. It's just a bark speeder painted well in, in the five one first uh, color scheme. Now, obviously, these are stickers here. It really isn't like a painted piece you could actually get, like well, printed piece. Now, right here, you could have actually. Lego could have actually put like a printed piece just at the end. I can probably it did a save on cost factor, but yeah, I'm kind of looking for more, you know, printed pieces because there are some of my other Lego sets that I do have, and I do plan on doing another Lego review. But yeah, the stuff shooters I'm not gonna shoot it off because I'm gonna lose things and all that stuff. But yeah, and well, that's me. It's up, but uh, yeah, you can't actually stick one of these guys on. But yeah, now, again, that's great. This is for the Bark Speeder. On to the actual, you know, walker or whatever you should call uh, this guy. But, uh, yeah. Now, I have actually no problem with actual, like, this entire Lego set. Now, comparing that with the uh, other, the older one that I have. Now, obviously, as you see, I actually have a clone trooper here. Now, the older one is this one, the one out from Europe. But uh, yeah, this guy, well, obviously I don't actually have a troop here because I actually want to show what you get in this set. But again, spinning on the side, it's basically literally the exact same build. And nothing really to complain about except for uh, it is missing the certain rifle, which I do have a rifleman actually on the walker. But uh, yeah. Now spinning on the side, you do actually come with like binoculars, which you actually do put here, which I've shown a little bit, but you did a nice antenna here. The legs are articulated. Nothing really complained about, but actually, well, main selling point was I kind of actually want another walker. Well, again, some clone troopers, but yeah. See here, five of first. This is actually a sticker, and this is also a sticker. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. Like there's a sticker. I kind of save on printing, but yeah, articulation, legs are like that. There's actually another one down here. And uh, yeah, there's foot thing and there's toe articulation. Now, before I actually like, show the actual trooper itself, now compare it with the actual Kashyyyk Walker. Now, I did get like kind of like a, I think it's an anniversary pack or something. I don't, yeah, it's probably an anniversary pack because you can't get like the armored 
Walker with a command of Gree or, or something in a pack, but this one with Yo, I think you'll, you get a little Wookiee, or I think you also get Chewy, Chewbacca, and this one with Special Kashyyyk Walker. But yeah, similar build style, except for I think maybe the Kashyyyk one is actually a little bit bigger. It's right off this eyeball. Yeah, the Kashyyyk one is a little bit bigger. Now, similar build style, just roughly very similar, except for I got a big radio antenna here. Uh, no, no real complaints with the Walker. Again, this set is completely positive review. My only complaint, which I will, will review it, and it's it's against a kind of, not really against a company, just kind of a uh, feedback for the actual company because these are kind of hard to find. So uh, yeah, but yeah, tell me about the Kashyyyk Walker. Off the side now. Actually, you do have uh, well the binoculars, which it does. I mean, all all these Lego minifigs can actually hold it, but yeah, you can't actually have the the trooper actually hold up his eyes. Now you can't actually have him holding it like that. But the whole purpose of this is to actually have the guy on the walker hold it. But uh, yeah, kind of so he just got ahead and like oh. Commander, there's something ahead, or sergeant, there's something ahead. But yeah, I don't think any of you guys are sergeants or something because there there would be an indication of a of, of a different of a different insignia actually on it. But yeah, I do have the rifleman now actually taken off the guy, I think I got off the walker. Now, one of these guys it is a rifleman because you because you do give you are given a rifle. For that trooper, it comes with a silencer. I mean, obviously, you take it off, it looks like a sniper or something, but uh, yeah, but yeah, it comes with a silencer because the scope of this is actually very is actually different than this guy, so uh, looks different. Again, it's so different kinds of troopers, like a rifle trooper, but yeah, since well, you can't actually have him uh, look like he's in ready position, like in a formation or something. Where he's walking like da, 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 da. yeah, again, same face, but yeah, it's just similar to just choose which guy to actually have the, the, uh, the snipe or the big rifle, but uh, yeah, since the rifle is longer, you kind of actually need to angle this guy if you actually want him standing, but uh, yeah, awesome guy now, again, I have nothing but positive uh, opinions about, about the set. I do actually really like it because I kind of want more clone troopers. But yeah, I, like I said, I did get two sets. And uh, yeah, if you do have a minor issue, just, you know, send Lego an email. They'll send you a replacement parts. They, they don't look, well, no matter I question it. But uh, yeah, they will actually send you. So I do actually have an additional four clone troopers and like two more battle droids. Because I didn't get one in one from Europe. But uh, yeah. Now I now positive feedback. I like the clone. I love how the number of troopers that they give you. Clone Wars season seven. They humanize the troopers and they actually make you uh, feel for the troopers. Like they may actually make the troopers seem more human in the show. I mean that's not to say because you know the Five First Legion they actually did participate. I mean all you see them all participate. See the Five First in like actually executing a Jedi in on Coruscant in order order sixty six. And that's not to say it's not a really bad set. I like clone troopers and this I believe there's a face you helmet which is something that only goes through with that's in the Kashyyyk. Only other one I had was Kashyyyk and with Commander Gree. So yeah I kinda want more of the actual helmet because it looks like the classic, you know, what most clone troopers actually did look like in the actual uh, Clone Wars show, which is kinda actually what this is based off of. Because you can't get this, you can't actually get this guy anywhere else except for in the Lego set. But uh, yeah, my only gripe for this, like my only other negative, where it's like ninety nine percent positive, I would highly recommend you guys pick this up. Now I did actually uh, post how you can actually get this uh, Lego set in in another video. I'll, I will link this in the description below. But yeah, my only other grip is like 
This is rare. This is kind of like hard to find because Lego apparently did not produce enough of these to actually, you know, get out of other video sites. I can only find this in in a, in, a, in a Lego store. Now, after checking other videos like Walmart and Target, it says it's like coming soon or not really available. Like, yeah, even though I did ask some, some of the employees and I said, yeah, it's so hard to find. So, Lego didn't really produce much of many of these. Now, which is kind of disappointing, but which also makes finding these a lot more fun while also being difficult. Now, again, the reward is worth it. If you're trying to army build with these four clone troopers. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up my Lego review up. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And fly her pilot.